want some breakfast? No. Joshua, haven't you seen enough of that? You've been looking at it all night. This isn't healthy. You are driving yourself crazy. Can you honestly sit here and say that you have never seen that side of Sonny before? It never existed before. Obviously it did. No. This is not Sonny. And neither is that woman back at Springfield. Alan, certainly didn't expect to see you here so early. Look at what he's done. Philip has plastered Josh and Reva all over the front page. Well, he certainly didn't waste any time, now did he? No. He did it just to embarrass me. That's why I don't like it any more than you do, Alan. But our success last night must cheer you up a bit. Are you sure it worked? I think so, but Will was asleep when I left. Well, I'm not counting on anything until he goes to the police and formally charges Josh with attempted murder. He will. He's had all night to sleep on it. What if he remembers the real truth? I don't think he could have remembered anything with my little tape recorder playing in his ear. You must have been one good psychiatrist. Well, I didn't spend eight years in medical school for nothing. It didn't hurt that Frank walked in just as Will was remembering the truth. Lucky timing, that. If you are cool under pressure, I must hand you that. I've learned the hard way. I've ended up with nothing too many times and refused to let it happen again. I cannot wait until all of this is mine. You mean ours? Right. Ours. Oh, oh God, I hope last night was a bad dream. What are you doing here? I'm babysitting you. Well, gee, Frank, thanks, but I don't need your help. Here, Sonny says for you to remember to take your medication. Well, I will. You don't have to worry, so uh, you can go now. Well, that suited me just fine, but, you know, I don't think Mindy would like me running out on you, you know what I mean? Let me ask you a question. Do you remember about what you said last night? Of course I do, Frank. So what you said was true? Yes. I find that hard to believe. Oh, well, I'm sorry. How do you think it feels for me to wake up and remember the first thing that the man that I thought was my best friend tried to kill me? upon avoiding me I told you last night I didn't want you to leave what else do you want from me a lot more Rick you can't bear to look at me let alone touch or be touched by me I might as well not be here I mean I can't wait for you to explode so uh, it's just best we end it now I'll, uh, I'll get that. Hello. Yeah, Frank, it's Rusty. You wanted me to call uh, you? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, hold on one second, wait. Well, will do me a favor. Would you get us some coffee? <sighs> sure, Frank. Thanks. Okay, looks like I can talk now. Will is there? Yeah, he sure is. Listen, I ran into some trouble. I didn't know if I should call you or not, but here I am. Go ahead. Last night, Jeffrey said he remembered everything that happened to him the night he disappeared. He says he knows who tried to kill him. Sonny. No. He says it was Josh. Josh? Yeah. I don't believe that for a second. I didn't believe it either, but Jeffrey swears it's true. Listen, I don't want you running off at the mouth about this to Minnie until I talk to her, okay? Why did you call me 
Frank. Because you are the law, aren't you? Um, hold on one second. Well, have you, uh, taken your medication yet? Frank, I told you not to worry about me, all right? I'm not worried about you. I'm just worrying about Sonny getting over my case about this. Now, why don't you just take it? <laughs> all right, Frank, I'll take it. Okay. Okay, listen, I can talk. You left the room. Sonny has him on medication? Yeah. What kind? I don't know what kind. Read me the prescription. No, I don't know if I should do that or not. I mean, isn't that confidential? Come on, Frank. Now, you called me. Don't get legal on me. Now. Rusty. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, there's no name on it. Frank, just read me this prescription, please. Okay, it's from uh, Pitcher's Pharmacy. It's prescription number uh, 76759. Tell me everything Will says he remembers. Uh, now's not a really good time to talk about that. Um, I'll get that information for you later, and along with the figures. So, uh, are you at work? Uh, no good. I'm out of town, but I will get back to you. Okay, you just be sure you do that. Well, Frank, who was that? <clears throat> I have just a business call. I had the number forwarded here. Oh. Now, let me ask you a question. What are you going to do now that you've decided or figured out that Josh is the one to try to kill you? I don't know. Don't you think maybe you should talk to somebody like Rusty Shane? I don't think so. Why is that? To be honest with you, Frank, I don't really like the guy. He's really no friend of mine either, but you got to talk to somebody about this. I know. I'd really like to talk to Melinda about it. Excuse me. Uh, why don't I call her, okay? Some things I'd like to talk to her myself. Mindy, hi. It's, uh, it's Frank. Hi. I, I... How are you? I'm fine. I wasn't expecting to hear from you this morning. Is something wrong? Um, no, I just thought maybe you should know something here. The mirror put Josh and Reva on the front page of them running off together. No. A, a Sunny must be beside herself. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, this is all Reva's fault. If I can get my hands around her neck... Mindy, when are you, when, when you coming home? As soon as I tie up some loose ends around here. How's Will? Are you taking care of him like you promised? Uh, it's funny you say that. Yeah, uh, he's, he's right here and he wants to talk to you. Thanks, Frank. Melinda? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Hold on a second. Hey, Frank, how about some more coffee? Yeah. So, how are you? Good. What have you been up to since I left? Well, trying to remember, mostly. You know, I keep coming back to all the times that... Well, that you defended me. Like the night that Josh was beating my head against the wall. Well, try not to think about that. That was pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah, listen, did that ever happen before? No, of course not. And I'm sure Uncle Josh feels terrible about it. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Mindy. You see, I, I started to remember some things about the night that I disappeared. Oh, well, that's terrific. Like what? Well, I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, Mindy, but it was your Uncle Josh that hit me over the head and tried to kill me. What? No, there's got to be some mistake. I wish there was, Mindy. Wh why would you even think that? Well, I've been taking this medication and, well, it helps to, to induce my memory. And, well, I remember that night. Josh tried to kill me. Well, that, Uncle Josh would never try and hurt you. I'm sorry, Mindy, but that's the way I remember it. Well, look, you're, you're still a little confused. I'll, I'll get there as soon as I can, and I'll help you try and remember exactly what happened. Well, I don't think that's going to change anything. Well, you just sit tight, okay? Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye. Here's your coffee. Thanks, Frank. Back. Oh, can I talk to Mindy? Oh, sorry, Frank. She, uh, she hung up. Just 
tape was made in 1986 when I thought Sonny was dead. So? What do you mean, it's not Sonny? Look, Joshua, I know you don't want to have bad feelings about her, but that tape proves what she's capable of. You've seen it with your own eyes. I can't believe that, that, that you've never seen that something was wrong. I sure as hell did. I can't believe you don't. Don't you think I've been wondering about that all night, Reva? How Sonny could have fooled me all this time, how she could have taken me in day after day, night after night. Joshua, I know how hard this is on you. I mean, I have to admit, I'm having a hard time believing that this little girl turned into that woman on the tape, too. But that is exactly the point. She didn't. What? What are you doing? Why the hell hasn't that private detective found them yet? It's a big country, Alan. Well, they couldn't have gotten very far. Riva didn't have any money, no passport. Yes, but Josh did. And you know what? I was sinking feeling that I know where they might be. Where? Josh was ready to go to Venezuela. Now, if he's looking for proof that I betrayed him, he might very well have gone to my parents' home to try and find some dirt on me. Hmm. Where is it? I'll have my man check it out. It's in Caracas, but we don't have time to wait for detective. Mindy's down there right now. I'll just have her check it out. Hola. Mindy. Mindy, it's Sunny. Hi, I'm glad you called. I just talked to Will a little while ago. Will? Yeah, he says it was Uncle Josh who tried to kill him. Um, I, I know, Mindy. I was with Will last night when he started remembering. Well, it's not true. It can't be. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry, Mindy. I will do everything in my power to protect Josh. You know that. You don't think he did it, do you? Well, I'm just praying that, that he's disoriented or at the very least confused. But we can't take any chances, and that's why I called you. What do you want me to do? I need you to go and find Josh. Obviously, he's thinking the worst about me. And I think he might be down there trying to check out my past. Well, he already knows it, doesn't he? Look, my family has a home just outside of Caracas on Calle Las Fuentes. It's, it's an old hacienda at the top of the hill. I'd like for you to go there and see if Josh is there. Okay. Mindy, you know I wouldn't ask you unless I was half out of my mind with worry for him. Well, if my husband were off with Reva, I would be completely nuts. I'll check it out right away. Thank you. And Mindy, if you do find Josh, don't say a word about Will accusing him of murder. Why not? Because he needs to come home to clear his name. And if he finds out there's a murder charge, he might not come back. So, uh, I mean, you know, that would make it look worse than it already is. Yeah, that, that's true. Uncle Josh can be real stubborn when he wants to be. I also wouldn't mind a shot at trying to save my marriage. I won't say a word, I promise. Thank you, Mindy. Let me know how it goes, okay? Okay, you hang in there. I will. I will. Just concentrate on Josh, all right? All right. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If she finds Will's mother locked up in that room... Okay, what? Alan, look, look, I know it's a risk. But if Josh and Reeve are already there, they already know that Mrs. Ibarra is there. I have to know how bad it is. Yeah, me too. Don't worry, Alan. We'll find them. I can't believe it. It is the truth. Reva, it's the only answer to all of the unanswerable questions. In fact, I remember Sonny telling me about a, uh, a, a playmate that she had when, when she was little. Your best friends. We, um, we rode horses together, we took ballet class together, and we told each other everything. I mean, I mean everything. But it wasn't a friend. It was a sister. It's the only thing that makes any sense at all. I have been completely taken in and used by a woman I never even met Wait, before. Wait, Joshua, one thing doesn't make sense. If Sonny had a sister, why didn't she ever tell you about her? I don't know, You knew Reba. the woman, you knew her parents. Why didn't they ever mention a sister? I don't know, but you're holding the proof right there in your hands. 
And this means that Sonny really is dead. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if I can handle dealing with that again. Oh, Bud, I am so sorry. Why do you suppose that this woman went to so much trouble to track me down, huh? Well, that's an easy one. I mean, you're rich. I mean, when Sonny died, obviously she thought she could cash in no, on it. No, no, no. Look, look around you. The, the Carreras were not exactly destitute, Reva. I mean, they had a coffee plantation, plus all of the property here. With, with, with Sonny dead, this sister would have inherited everything. Joshua, that's just... this place is in ruins. And how long before Will came into the picture, do you suppose? Well, obviously, they, they knew each other before they came to Springfield. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but for how long? I mean, how long before? Well, I don't think it was a coincidence that Will went to work for Lewis Oil right after Sonny died. I mean, he took her job. He became your best friend. I mean, I think they go back quite a ways. I think so, too. I just don't want to tell you her name. Some convent girl that I've never met. I just don't want to. Fine, it's your story. It's an old, old story. We fell in love, we weren't supposed to. End of story. Why not? Well, I was poor. And her parents didn't approve. Did she love you? I think so. But it was hard to tell. Not really. That son of... I, I, if you want my opinion, I think Will is the key to this whole thing. Not in the state of mind he's in now, right now. Not unless he's faking it, of course. Well, if he's doing that, then he has Dr. Linden, he has Ed, he has all the doctors at Cedars Fooled. No, I, I think Will has no memory. But Sonny does. Or whatever the hell her name is. Joshua. Let's go to Springfield. Let's nail her. No, no, we, we can't do that. We don't have proof What yet. do you call this? I call that a photograph of two young girls. It, it, it still doesn't prove that the woman in Springfield it, it, is an imposter. Okay, okay, so where do we get the proof? There's got to be a family Bible around here, right? There's got to be. What'd I tell you? Of course. What? Well, the pages on, on, on uh, births and bat baptisms is missing. I mean, the Carreras went to a lot of trouble to keep people from knowing about this mystery sister. Yeah, they certainly did. You know, I, I think there's somebody who can help us with this, though. Who? That, that, that nun at, 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 the, at the convent school. Oh. I think she knows something. Oh, yeah. Boy, she was really twitching her rosary beads when we mentioned the Carreras. Well, what are we yeah. waiting for, Joshua? Let's go! up to say goodbye, huh? Rick, come on, please. I mean, we don't have a chance in hell if we don't start communicating. What is it you want me to say, man? It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Of course you should care. And I understand. I don't expect you to, to come to terms with this right away. Right, because I don't think I can. Well, could you maybe consider trying? What is it you want from me? chance a real chance for you know us me, knowing you're pregnant with another man's child and you want to have fun in your honeymoon give me a break Rick this baby it doesn't have to be the end of our marriage not if we don't want it to be and believe me I understand how difficult it is for you to, to picture yourself raising a child that's you're not right. yours I don't think I can do it in time I'm sure you could Meredith, just we just stop this you're just like everybody else there's good old Rick he can forgive and forget just like that right you're wrong. I love you with all my heart. And I honestly believe that in time, you could forgive me enough to love this child. You give me too much credit. <laughs> you don't give yourself enough. And you give yourself a lot of hope. 
What if uh, I think of that other man every time I look at the baby or every time I go to touch you? It's not fair to any of us. Rick, you're right. I am expecting too much. But you have to know, through all this, I never, ever for one second stopped loving you. What happened with that man? Well, it certainly wasn't love. Oh, I see. So it was sex. <laughs> yeah. That makes me feel a lot better. Oh, Rick, I know I made a horrendous mistake, and I'm so very sorry. You and I were fighting. I had, I had problems with work. The situation, I don't know. It, it just happened. What if six months from now we get into another fight? What if you have another bad day at work? Are you just going to happen with the first guy that comes along? Well, you know, none of this would have happened if you had at least been there for oh, me when I needed I you. So it's all my fault that you got pregnant oh, from another man. No, that's not what Maybe I Maybe I wasn't there for you, Murph, but I sure wasn't with somebody else. Oh. So now you're a saint. Well, it wasn't so long ago you were willing to sleep with Roxy while Johnny was dying. Alan, the hard part is over. Will has bought our story. No, it's only beginning. You see, from now on, everything has to track about what Will thinks he knows. It will, Alan. First thing is, we have to find out where Josh was the evening he tried to kill Will. If he has an alibi, we're sunk. Excuse me. Wanda, could you come in here for a moment, please? The coffee's too strong, and then I switch brands. Oh, no, 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 Wanda, the coffee's fine. I was wondering, do you remember the night that Dr. Jeffers disappeared? Of course I do. Like I told you, it was the night Lowell's mama had her hysterectomy, pouring down rain like you wouldn't believe. I ruined my new green suede pumps on the way to the hospital. Squish, squish, squish down those long halls. I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed, except maybe the time when I was in high Wanda, school. And I Wanda, Wanda, just... do you remember seeing Josh that evening? Not after I left here. He let me off work early. You know how sweet he can be when it comes to family tragedies. Anyway, when I walked out the door, he was the only one still here. Thank you, Wanda. That's all? That's all. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Everything is going just as we planned. Will thinks that Josh killed him. Poor Josh doesn't have an alibi. Now, if Wanda could learn to make a good cup of coffee, everything would be just perfect. You know, the prospect of having money and power really becomes you. Mm -hmm. You are positively glowing. Well, you see, money and power don't fail you the way that people do. They don't make promises and then leave you high and dry, wondering why you even bothered to begin with. Of course, you already know that, don't you? Do you think you can continue to control what uh, Will remembers? Alan, what I can't manage on my own, the drugs will take care of. You sound awfully, awfully confident. Well, I am. I know every button that Will has. I know exactly when to push them. Tough luck for Josh that I didn't do as well. Tough luck for both of you. I came back for the, from the grave for this man. I turned myself inside and out to be the perfect little housewife for him. And still, it's Reva. You see, it's always Reva, Alan. Yes, I know exactly how you feel. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. I hate Josh Lewis. I'm in this with you because I want him to pay, pay for trying to steal Reva from me. Well, as annoying as this is, Alan, it's playing into our plan rather nicely, you have to admit. With Josh's face splashed across the front page as a kidnapper, a murder charge is not all that unbelievable. You know, I love the way you find a bright side to everything. Just make sure that Will comes through for us. He will. Where are you going? Aren't you working today? That's exactly what I'm doing. I hope this works. 
Yeah, so do I. We've been through all the town records, and there's no mention of Sonny even having a sister. Well, obviously, all those records have been tampered with as well. Well, the person who did the tampering there couldn't possibly have done the same thing in here. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'm sorry. The sister's not feeling up to seeing any visitors today. Perhaps if you can come back some other time. Well, how about later today? The infirmities of old age are unpredictable, but you're welcome to try. Uh, thank you. We, we will. We'll, we'll try again another time. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, wait. Um, if we can't see the sister today, I is there a possibility that we could see school records from the uh, early 1970s? Oh, uh, I'm not sure that is allowed. Well, could you find out? The mother superior, she's in town oh, shopping. Please. It would mean so much to us. Wouldn't it, sweetie? Uh, I suppose there is no reason why I cannot let you see the records. We have no secrets here at St. Mary's. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, so nice of you to thank her. Seeing as I did all the work, what is wrong with you? Nothing, nothing. Oh, come on. Then why are you so laid back? Don't you want to get to the bottom of this? Yes, I do. But if we have to wait before we can see the sister, then we're going to have to wait. That's, that's the way it'll have to be. Liar. I get the feeling that part of you doesn't want to find out the whole story. Here, let me, let me help you with that. Story. Thank you. It is true what they say. The weight of the past is a heavy burden to carry. <laughs> well, we'll just go ahead and get to work. Now, you're going to have to behave while we get to work here, okay? Uh, I could watch her if you like. Oh, that would be wonderful. And since you're coming back this afternoon, Mara can spend the morning here. Oh, that would be terrific. Thank you so much. It would but be a blessing. Take those two. Here you go, honey. Ah, oh, kid. Yeah. We'll be back. Go bake cookies again. You go bake cookies again. Oh. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Yeah. Thank you, sister. Oh, my child. Okay. Let's get to it. You, you sure that's a good idea? You think she'll be all right? She'll be fine. And if you can't trust a nun, who can you trust? Besides, I feel a lot better off having her here than at that creepy house. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's just, let's just uh, see. Here, Carrera. Do. Oh, this is about Sunny. Now, we know that her sister must have been enrolled here, too. Whoever went to the trouble of obliterating this woman's past did a very good job. Yeah, wait a minute here. What about Ibarra? No, no, no. I think that would be too much of a coincidence, Rima. Wouldn't it, though? Good Lord. It's him. It's Guillermo Ibarra. Oh, well, now it can't be the same guy. This, this, this person was studying to be a priest. Obviously, he never made it. it must be why, why this church and everyone else is working so hard to cover this up. Well, Mrs. Lewis, well, am I glad to see you? Friends, what's wrong? Oh, well, nothing's wrong. I just didn't know whether or not to leave Will alone or not. No, you were right to stay. He should not be left alone in this condition. But I'm here now, and I can take care of him, and you can go into work. Uh, you sure? Well, that's what we pay you for, isn't it? And Frank, thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you all right? No, I, I was so worried about you. How did you sleep? What's the matter? You're shaking. Well, it's Josh and word sick about him. Because of what I said last night? I have to protect my husband, don't I? I think you're asking the wrong person, don't you? Look, Will, I, I know it's unfair of me to ask you to keep quiet about what you remember. I'm sorry. Every time you see me, I upset you. No, it is not your fault. It's just that... Well, I am begging you, please. You, you can't tell anyone what, what you remembered. It would make Josh look so bad. There's something else, isn't there? I checked around. I was trying to prove that you were wrong, and I couldn't. What did you find? No one saw Josh that night. So the only place he could have been was here with you. Just like you remembered. Oh, please don't. 
Don't cry. It's just that my whole world is falling apart, Will. And it's all my fault. They suspect me, too, you know. Who does? The police, they think I had something to do with your disappearance. Why? Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Obviously, my attraction to you wasn't as well hidden as I had hoped. Reva, Alan, Rusty, they all know. Well, did I know that you liked me? And I didn't rape you, did I? No. No, well, I, I hated lying to you like that. Well, I hated it, too. I know it was unforgivable, but I was just, I was so desperate to protect Josh. You would never, you would never have done anything that, that I didn't want you to. Well, did I do anything that you did want me to do? No. No, you were impeccable. <laughs> we both were. Then why? If I, if I had been able to hide it, which I couldn't, perhaps Josh wouldn't have found it necessary to try. It's all my fault. No, it is not your fault. You can't blame yourself for your feelings. And even if Josh did get jealous, that's still no reason to try and kill me. Josh... Josh doesn't need a reason to do anything. He assumes he has the right to do whatever he pleases. Why? Because he's rich. He doesn't need a conscience or rules. He has all the money instead. I hate that. Well, he never knew better. He never had to struggle. His daddy was always there to pick up the pieces and, and pay off the problems. Well, then maybe it's time that somebody taught Josh Lewis a lesson. I know Josh should be punished, Will, but... I'm sorry, I keep, I keep turning your life upside down. I bet you wish I'd never come back. No. No, that's not true at all. true that you were you were here with oh you are fancy meeting you here nobody in springfield knows that we're here how did you find us sunny your wife she had a hunch that you would be here she asked me to come check it out she's worried sick about you she's getting desperate can you blame her the papers are making it sound like you kidnapped reva and some of us would think it would be the other way around look just lay off of reva all right she's not responsible for this how can you say that she's out to ruin your marriage and really hurt the woman who loves you hey, i don't want to hear a word about the woman who loves me all right see she's already turned you against sunny josh come home with me give your wife no, a chance to tell her Mindy, side of the story i can't do that all right well, not people yet. are starting to say bad things about you josh even will said will what did will say about me mindy isn't it bad enough that she has already destroyed your relationship with your best friend? My best friend? Will Jeffries? I should have killed him when I had the chance. Don't say that. You don't mean it. I never meant anything more in my entire life. What has Reva done to you? Mindy, I think you should leave. You, you would kill him? Mindy, go. You, you'll pay for this. No. What's wrong? I want out, Josh. I want out of this. Now. What galls me the most is that you're trying to make it look like it's my fault that you're pregnant. No. No, please. It is not your fault. <laughs> Come on, I'm the one walking around with the evidence showing. Oh, Rick, I, w I would give anything to blame you for this. Because then we'd be fighting about names and 
colors for a nursery. All the fun things that couples are supposed to fight about. But instead, we're just standing here waiting for the world to end. It's not going to, is it? Isn't it? It's just our luck. We're going to have to make the best of it. We... Uh, does that mean perhaps you... you do love me enough to forgive me? I don't know. I don't know. Mindy, this is Alan Spaulding. Uh, Sonny's not here. May I take a message? Uh, no, just just tell Sonny I'll call her back later. Mindy, uh, is this about uh, Josh and Reva? I know that Sonny asked you to look for them. Any luck? Yes. Oh, they are in Venezuela. At the Carrera Hacienda, just like she thought they'd be. Is Reva all right? <laughs> Reva's fine. Reva's always fine. You just tell Sonny, make sure she knows Uncle Josh didn't kidnap her. She wanted to be with him. Uh, yes, I'll be sure to pass it on. Did they say when they'd be coming back? Well, Uncle Josh didn't seem in any rush, that's for sure. Just tell Sonny I'll call her back later. Certainly. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And thanks for the update. No, 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 wait, 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 please. I am please. sick and tired of being treated like this. What did I do? I'm going to go to the convent, I'm going to pick up Mara, and we are taking the first plane out of Reba, here. Reba, I don't understand where this is coming from. And then again, maybe I do. This is about Alan, right? I'll leave it up to you to think this is simply a choice between you and Alan. Isn't it? No! It took a long time, but I've finally been able to put the Lewises behind me. You were the hardest one to let go of, but I did it. I have a life with Alan now. A life that I can be proud of. A life with dignity. Not because I wanted it, but because I needed it for Mara. She needs a mother who is not the butt of every joke in town. I finally thought that I'd put all the talking behind me. But now, the first thing I know, bam! I get involved with you, and, and all that dignity and that pride, that it just flies out the window. Everything that I've worked so hard for is gone. I am right back where I started from, and I hate it. And I hate you for doing this to me. What can I do? For starters, I want to talk to Alan. You talk to him all you want. Anything you want me to tell Sonny? Sonny is dead. You can't hate her anymore, remember? Right. Would you do me a favor, please? Don't tell Alan what we found out already. Joshua, Just... he's gonna want to know what we've been doing together all this time. I understand mm. that. Just make up a story or something. Just... Like you used to do when H.B. would catch us necking in the bunkhouse, remember? Joshua. Please. For old time's sake. Go ahead, call your fiancé. I want to talk to Alan in private. time you called. What the hell have you been doing? Well, it'll all make sense once I explain. Well, I'm waiting. Uh, well, I can't tell you right now. Uh, Joshua... Stop protecting the man. I want the truth now. 
All right, Alan. The reason I couldn't explain... Rita? Looks like I got here just in time. I've made such a mess of everything. I deserve whatever happens to me. That's not true. Let me help you. How can you? Well, I'm messing you up just by being here. Look, I know you're falling for Mindy. I, I don't want to hold you back. You're not holding me back. Well, good. Then you should go forward. I know. I should. <laughs> 